Today we are classifying triangles by their side lengths. There are other ways to classify triangles. You could classify them by their angles, for example. But today we're looking at side lengths, and there are really only three possibilities here. You could have a triangle where all three sides have different lengths, like this one. There's a side that's three, a side that's four, a side that's five. They're all different. That makes it a scalene triangle. That's the word for that. Another possibility is that two of the sides have the same length. You can see these two sides here are marked with this little hash mark. Uh, that means they're the same length. So two of the sides are the same, a third is different. That's an isosceles triangle. And finally, the other possibility is that all three sides could be the same length. And we call that an equilateral triangle. Equi here means equals, lateral means side. So three equal sides, an equilateral triangle. So simple enough, let's try a couple of problems here. This first one says, classify the triangle with sides of length 5, 5, and 5. Well, those are all the same, those sides. When we have three sides all the same, we have an equilateral triangle. Let's try one more here. So this one says, what is the best classification for a triangle with sides 3, 2, and 3? Well, there's a 3 and a 3. That's two sides that are the same and the third one is different, that is an isosceles triangle. And finally, we have what is the best classification for a triangle with sides 3, 6, and 4. All three of those numbers are different from each other. That is our scalene triangle. And that is a little bit of work with classifying triangles according to side lengths.